Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for episode 3 of The Quarry. Now in the previous episode, the camp counselors finally got to the party, it's night time, they're out in the woods, and they are being stalked by some hunters. They haven't actually encountered them yet, but they had a big argument that kind of split everybody up. Now once again, so much happens in this game because it's basically like an interactive movie. I'm not going to explain it all at the start of the episode. If you want to catch up, which I would advise you doing, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, just go and check them out, be caught up, and then enjoy the story as it goes on. Or if you're just happy to keep watching, obviously, just sit back, relax, and we'll dive into the next episode. So. Here we go, episode 3 of The Quarry. We're out in the woods. Trouble in Paradise, chapter 3. Let's go. That looks like Abby. Abigail. So this is 9-10. Early evening. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Hell am I? She's just kind of gone off on her own. Yeah, I like feel that it was a bit senseless to do this. Look, we're out completely in the open now. I wonder if we go straight that way or what happens if we explore this way? I want to try and find some of those cards, you know? That we can go this way. This is kind of spooky. I kind of walked out into the middle of nowhere. That wasn't really clever. Man, have I just put Abby in harm's way? I can hear our friends. Yeah, shout out to them. Call back. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I feel like this is going to draw Nick! some attention to her, though. Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. Are... We've been watched. That doesn't look like a human point of view, either. It's like some kind of beast. They need to just reconcile their differences now. I'll say it got a little intense. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Cautious uh, about what happened direct. So you and Emma, I'll be cautious. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? <laughs> She's still not happy about it, is she? What do we say next? Should I kiss him? I'm going to kiss him. Go. Let's get them together, guys. Although, <laughs> we're kind of letting our guard down a little too much when there's a beast out there. This is where, in the movie, people always get killed, isn't it? They're sort of um, making out or something, and then the monster comes along. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's stop kissing now and go. Should we look? Uh, what is it? Is it the wild boar? Or is it an actual monster? Don't go t go away from the sound. Step away from the sound, you know, not towards. I never understand that in movies. You hear something weird and then you see the characters going toward the sound. I I'd be the opposite. I'd go. I'd leave. Kind of back away slowly. They've kind of walked off though. I think they're safe. Oh no, maybe not. We don't even have a weapon with us. We're gonna have to just run. Is it another boar? It's too growly. Oh no. We're straight into the horror of this episode. Like from moment it's one. There. It's too fast. Uh 
Uh, it's snarling. Run! What the heck is that, man? That looks like a human. With sharp teeth. Is it werewolf? Oh, no! No! He's gonna die already! What the heck? Run to camp, help Nick. I'm helping Nick. Nick! Oh my god! I bet Abby's gonna get killed as well now. No! Look at that thing, man. It's got shot twice. Who's shooting it? We left Nick. Is Nick even alive still? Jump. Okay, we made we made it across the log. Hide or run. Uh, I'm gonna keep running. We should have probably hidden. Okay, we did something there. I don't know what we were doing there, but I think we survived. Right, so what are we doing now? Hide or run? Can we hide? <laughs> Whatever we can hide, guys. I don't know what to do. Climb a tree. Yeah, let's climb a tree. Let's climb a tree. Hopefully we don't fall. Climb a tree, hold our breath, wait for it to go. Okay, we're making it, we're making it, we're making it. We're doing it, we're climbing. She's actually quite good at climbing trees. I feel really bad that Nick died, man. We were just making some progress with Nick there. Oh. Nice. So when A pops up, we just hold it. We hold the button. Wait, he's coming up the tree, though. Okay, this is going to be bad if we fall at this point. Oh, man. Yeah, this was really bad. Oh. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. We wasted a lot of time climbing the tree, but we seem to be okay. I think Nick died, by the way, which I'm really sad about. Because I think you can keep all the characters alive. Right, it's time to hold our breath. The monster's up there, guys. Uh, hold breath. Right, we've got to wait for the opportune time to breathe again. The monster's right next to us. Come on. Look, you can see our breath going down at the side there. Once he's left. And... And... Release. Okay. Nice. We did it. Now go. We survived, but... I think Nick didn't. It kind of looked like he was still moving, so maybe he's alright? I don't know. I'm being optimistic, guys. I wonder if we hadn't called out to Nick, if he wouldn't have ever come along. He would have been fine, wouldn't he? He would have survived. Jacob's got some heartbreak going on. Oh, he's actually crying. Poor Jacob. He can be a douche, but at the same time, you've got to feel bad for a guy a little bit. He's obviously got some insecurities under his tough exterior. Here comes Emma, I think. I think this is Emma. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you're done that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this... Us? It was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. <laughs> kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate and now he never you, will. He just had his tongue <laughs> down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. 
Jeez. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Because he sabotaged the car in episode one. That's why they couldn't go home. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. Go skinny dip in. Boom. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. There you go. Go get those towels. Okay. One last night. Although, it's not going to be very safe going for a swim with uh, everything that we know is going on out there in the woods. I'm hoping nothing is under the water as well. Like, can there be monsters under the water? Was a dead body by the look of it. Ugh. Oh, its stomach's like torn open. I wonder who that is. Is he chained up? I think he's like chained to the uh, lake bed, you know, the river bed. Right, we can control Jacob. So, what we're gonna do, guys, take Star. What the heck was that? Wait. You just let me look at something then. Ah, oh, tarot found. There we go, guys. We found our first tarot card. There's 22 of these things. They're very well hidden. And we, we've missed so far. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Okay, so do we get one per chapter? No, we can't. Anyway, the star, it says, oh, it's the star, stars in the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of insignificance, fear, or despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. So we can now give the star card to uh, the mystic when we complete the chapter. So we'll have actually something to say to her this time, which is kind of interesting. What's this? No swimming without supervision. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see about that. Man, <laughs> what do you mean we'll see about that? It's like it's trying to sound like a tough guy looking at a sign. Come on. Let's have a look. I want to see if there's any other tarot cards, you know? Like, is this a tarot card? What is this? Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is thack it? Is that his dad, the cop? Let's have a look. I think the cop might have been... Because that guy in the picture is the cop from episode one. So I think maybe Chris Hackett is the cop's son. Right, so are we walking back to the lodge to get the towels? I can't even remember. Kind of a bit nervous though. What's this? Just another point of interest? Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Hmm. Can we investigate that? I don't think we can do anything with it. I really don't want to leave Emma by herself over there as well. <laughs> I'm kind of worried we split up. The more people split up in movies, like the, the worse it becomes for everyone. I think we have to go upstairs. I think that's probably where the towels are upstairs in the lodge. The slowest walking upstairs animation ever. This is the boathouse, okay. Here we go. God damn it. No towels. They've all been cleaned and put away for the summer. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You did. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hmm. I wanna check. See if there's anything else up here. What's this? It's like a ledger of some kind. What are these numbers? Manageable but unsustainable. Let's have a look. I want to look at that. Uh, show text. Boathouse logbook. We've got some dates first. 2016, 2017, 2019, 2021. They're all different months and days. Yeah, this is just boat rules. I think it's just the dates that are what we want to look at there. I don't know what they mean yet, though. Got something over here as well. Binoculars. Let's have a look. Oh, 
I bet we'll see something creepy with these. Um, oh, what's that? What is that? A light Whoa. on in that house over there? Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. I wouldn't investigate, yeah. Okay, let's head back down and see if Emma's okay. She should be, I think. Can't hear any screams. Right where we left her. She's taken most of her clothing off though. She's ready for the pool. Or the lake, I should say. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Cannonball or ask Nick? Hmm, do we want to jump in that river? I'll, I'll jump in, screw it. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, We're probably oh, going to end up killing both of these guys oh, now because we just jumped in the lake. Hurricane Jake. It's not the promised land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, mm. now you're going to get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch! Oh, stop being a uh, <laughs> So I splash her back. Let's do it. We'll attract the sharks, guys, or the crocodiles. <laughs> He's gonna find the body if he goes into there. That chained up body down there. Man, I'm I'm nervous right now. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Something's gonna happen. I can tell. Dick move. I'll flirt. I'll be flirty. Right. She doesn't seem to be too Check sentimental and mushy and stuff, so... Uh, okay... We'll just, uh, get her to take a picture. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, like, um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? Ah. What? She's gonna get dragged into that water, man. I can see it coming. Something's gonna happen. I thought she wouldn't like the sentimentality, but maybe she would have preferred it if we'd been just like kind then. Oh god. What is that sound? Is that was that Abigail? Is this taking place at the same time? No! Gotta be fucking kidding me. See, if we hadn't jumped into the water, we wouldn't have lost it. All right, dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in. Actually, why didn't we help Abby? I didn't even think then. I just thought, I thought the car will save all of us, you know. Jacob. Ugh. I thought if we get, Jake. if we can get back to the car, I thought it will save everybody, like potentially. But in the process, we've abandoned Abby. These guys have now split up. And he's probably going to get cut or trapped down there. Oh no! Oh no, guys, there's barbed wire down here. It's like saw. It's like a trap. Where's that rotor arm? Come on, there it is, there it is. Get it! Get it! Dude! Grab! Go on. There's the body there as well. We got it. Now do not drop it if you see that body. Body man. Ah! We've got evidence. Bloated corpse. A bloated decomposing corpse 
chained to the bottom of a lake. But now it looks like we've got sort of our hands caught again. Um, detangle. Let's detangle. You never want to just pull in these situations because you'll um, tear something, you know. We got the rotor on though and we managed to make it back out. So we actually did that well. We actually played our cards right, so to speak. Don't know where Emma's gone, of course, but, you know, eh. Emma's a bit annoying. Let's, you know, we can fix the car now. Hopefully Abby's okay. I've got to juggle so much information at once with this game, but I love it because we're just making these choices and who knows what's going to happen, right? Okay, so we're going back to Ryan now at the campfire pits. He's there with Dylan and Caitlin. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Well, you're Nick's wrong. Got the beast in him. Because we did huh, make a if move. If by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah, just the three of us. All right, Dylan. Truth or? Oh no! Right, we can go and help There's Abby no now, right? Oh my gosh! Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Yeah, we should help her. Like I was gonna say, if I got a choice, then I would choose to go Abby! help. Help! Please, Nick, help him. Hmm. Where's Nick? Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Ooh. Uh, I got this. Let's be assertive. Okay. I got this. Let's get Ryan involved. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. I don't want to screw this up because I don't want Ryan to die because he seems like just a timid little guy, you know? We need Jacob here, he's kind of a muscle man, right? Okay, okay, alright. Probably a bit stronger if the beast attacks him head on, but... We've got Ryan, probably the scrawniest of a bunch, going after the monster. Hopefully Nick's not dead, you know, but one thing that I'm worried about is that he did die rather than just got wounded. I would like to think we can save him. Take the shortcut or follow the path. Uh, we'll take, we'll follow the path. Screw it, we'll follow the path. Oh, dodge oh. that. And dodge that. We've got the quick time events down. Up we go. Okay. Take shortcut, follow path. I'm gonna follow the path again. I just don't want to go for a shortcut because we might, like, get killed, you know? Oh! Man, maybe we should have taken the shortcut. Okay. Where is Nick? Where is he? And... To the right, there we go. We made it. We're doing really well. Has he actually hurt his ankle as well? Can't tell. Seems like there's a blood trail here. Oh, he's still alive, guys. He's still alive. Okay. Oh, no. We've got a hunter. Um, let's shoot this guy. Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Yeah, drop him. Stop! Stop! I'll shoot. Shoot him now. Uh, there we go. We got him. Nice. He's walking off. Holy shit, dude. He just took the bullet and walked, man. He's a oh, tank, not, that guy. Not. I thought I was going to accidentally shoot Nick then. I was really worried. Not. Ryan stepped up, man. Hey, can you walk? Jack, gotta go. 
<laughs> let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so glad we oh. saved Nick. This is turning into a better episode than I thought. I was really worried at the start that we'd like messed everything up, or I had with the choices that I made, and you guys would be like, "Why did you do that?" But it's fine. We saved Nick. He's still alive. Nobody has died yet. This episode is really exciting so far. I love it. The first two were kind of slow, you know. We had the build up. Now we're getting the payoff. Naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. He's, he hasn't even put his clothes back on. What the hell? At least put a shirt on, man. He'll get cold out there. Okay. Oh. It's the pig, guys. It's the pig. Get ready to hold our breath, maybe. I don't know. Well, did something kill the pig? Because it was making a lot of noise then. I'm not going to call out. If we call out, it just draws everything to our position, so we're going to leave that. That's the kind of thing they would do in a no. dumb horror movie, you know? <laughs> like a movie cliche. Oh, no! No! We're caught, we're caught. Okay, um... This is bad, but... Let's just hold the button down. Come on. Shit! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh no, I think I can hear something. It's that big guy. Grab his wound. Where he got shot with his shotgun, maybe. Oh, come on. Um. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be threatening. Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Yeah, just shout at him. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe not the smartest thing to threaten the guy. Son of a bitch. This is weird, what's he doing? Why did he cut us down? Oh, what are you doing? Shh, quiet. Wait, maybe these guys aren't bad. I'm gonna let him do this. I feel like he maybe isn't bad. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Yeah, Help. these guys might be trying to protect us from the beast. It's for your own good. He might have been helping Nick, you know? Where are you off to now, girly? I think these guys are good. They're the locals trying to, like, protect people from the beast. And hunting season means what they're the hunting fuck? the beast. What the fuck? But yeah, that was, um, I think we made the right move there. And we got to the end of the chapter. That was a shorter chapter. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? A card, the star. It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Um, yeah, let's see more. 
He's going to show us something in a crystal ball. Oh, wait. Does this show us something to come and how Back we maybe escape or something? Back to Hackett's Quarry. It's like a little clue of Back how to, to succeed. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. I get it now, yeah. So we get clues how to survive by giving her certain things. She'll show us a little was, glimpse. It, so it looks like we have to was, flash I, our camera. I, I don't at something. even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. Nick's back. Hopefully, um, we can save him. We can heal him up. Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was, there was a guy there, but there was some kind of. Some kind of animal. What the hell? What the fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, because my teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Uh, uh. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! Oh, that black stuff. That's nasty. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Let's do it. Uh, sorry. Hopefully this will help. I mean, I, I'm not really good at medical stuff. <laughs> you know, medical procedures. But this seems like the right thing to do. You're okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck that. Hurt. They always say apply pressure to a wound, don't they? You know, we bandage should amputate. it. Amputate? We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Man, that's a bit what? drastic. Um. Why? I'll be dismissive. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I don't think you just want to cut somebody's leg off. You want to go to a, a hospital and, you know, check with somebody. Should we maybe amputate this guy's leg or should we just, you know, maybe see if we can get him cured at the hospital first? Seems to make more sense. To me, at least. I don't know. Right, here we go. Shotgun time. It's got to be Jacob, right? I'm just going to... I'm going to be quiet. I don't want to call out, draw more attention. Who's there? Shh. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? Doesn't matter. Not? Be careful. Right, let's have a look. See anyone? It was probably nothing. Yeah. Is it gone? I think it might have gone. I can't yeah, see anything. Yeah, you better run. Well, don't shout now. We just made a point not to shout. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now. Yeah. Oh. Something's coming back. What? What is that? What is that? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! It's Jacob. I'm here to save you. They're like, why is your clothes gone, man? What's going on? <laughs> why are you covered in blood? Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. I'll say where's... I'll ask what happened to him. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay, I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? 
Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. <laughs> That's like, a lie. Right that didn't happen. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. <laughs> they just tipped blood Ew. over him. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like... A dead one? Oh no 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 no! Um, <laughs> one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team. He got lost on the way to practice, and it was yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Yeah, we uh, need to save Emma. Me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? Well, Nick's dying, no, I'm so I'm trying to save my are. girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. He's not gonna win against Jacob in a fight. Uh, let's just let go. <laughs> Oh, dodge. No, fucking stop. We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. I feel like if we hadn't have rest bullshit. kept the gun, it might have like sure gone off safe. or something. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. I feel like he should stick with us, you know, kind of power in numbers, what they the say, lodge. I don't know. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. The wheelbarrow. Okay, what are we doing with the wheelbarrow? Ah, oh, put Nick in it, yeah. Wheel him right back to the lodge, makes sense. What tonight brings. So Emma's on the island, is she now? She swam across to it. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. That's not a good video intro. I'd uh, retake that here. if it was my channel. On a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. That's better. It's a better one. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. She's known that there's been somebody potentially hanging out there. Yes, here's the thing. And the Not lights that on. that I want to go back because I Doesn't don't. seem like a good idea. But even if I did... I can't, because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. I'm sure it's going to be fine. You know, I'm sure there's not going to be anything to worry about the treehouse. So we're controlling Emma now. She's still just in her bikini. So she's probably going to be pretty cold walking about. That's where we've come from, of course. I want to see if we've got any of these, like, tarot cards. So I'm going to have a little explore. Ooh, what's this? Toilets. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh, the lake. Oh, oh please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. 
It's kind of crazy how realistic the characters look in this. I mean, the visuals have come a long way in games is all I'll say since uh, I remember playing Sonic on the Sega Mega Drive back in the day. Now we can go... So this island oh. is like an unexcavated part of the quarry go that under or up. itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child. Who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Hmm, what choice do we make? Do we go under or over? Under could be more dangerous, but I want to see if we can find some more of those tarot cards. So I'm going to go under. Oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on! I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Nobody's as strong as they make out to be. They've always, you know, it's why you should never judge a book by its cover, so to speak, because everyone's always got their own uh, things going on in life, I suppose. Now, this feels like a bad idea. I do remember we got that, like, little glimpse of what happens to Emma in the Mystic's, like, crystal ball. So... I think it was showing her taking a flash picture of, like, the monster or something. I'm guessing that's maybe a tip of how this to survive. Kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kinda like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kinda like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Hmm. Actually, no, we're not cool. Or we can say it's better as a memory. I'll say it's better as a memory. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then <laughs> we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. She doesn't want the attachment right now. Okay, so, let's keep going. It feels... I don't know, it feels like we're okay going this way. What's this, though? Got a little campfire over here, I think. This could be evidence. Maybe take a hmm. photo. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth Box of Raven matches. Evermore. Let's have a look. A box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off and there are marks on the striking surface. Hmm. You'll wish you stopped by. Yeah, we do wish we stopped by because we never stopped by the motel in the first episode. And it ended up 
leading to the deaths of those two characters, didn't it? Okay, let's keep looking. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? Why would you do it one-handed? Just put the phone away for a right. second. I don't understand. Oh, shit. Can she not just, like, tuck the phone away somewhere? No! What the heck? I pressed down. Man, I hate it when the controls mess up like that. I'm sure I pressed down. Yeah, let's try and climb with both hands. It's smarter, isn't it? All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse. Obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, now, that's a fine how do you do. She's gonna regret doing this. There's blatantly gonna be something in here. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. No... Did you hear that? The monster. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? I'm not gonna open the trap door. Because I feel like if we open the trap door, the monster's gonna come out. We already saw that in the vision, didn't we? Let's search for bag instead. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. I think this is the right choice to make. Because if we go up to that trap door, we just die, I think. That's why we collect the tarot cards, isn't it? So we know what to do. And we've got clothes now as well, we can keep warm. Ooh, a taser, nice. It's a good job we checked through this bag, I think. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. She's still going up. This is really dumb. This is like a really bad decision. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Oh! There it is. There's the beast. Use bear spray, use taser. I'll use the taser. To zap it. Look at his eyes, man. Take photo. It showed us to take the photo, didn't it? We've got evidence. Right, now let's go. Run. So yeah, the tarot cards show us what to do. Um, they're really useful. Right, we got it that time. We got the quick time event that time. Keep going. Ooh, she's actually quite... You know, she's got some skills. It's like a thrilling chase. Let's go. Uh, run or spray? Um, spray. Let's do it. Now let's run. We're slowing it down, you know. Uh, up. Let's go. Now which way? We're going to have to do it again, I, I bet. Up again. Okay. Nice. Shut us up in here. Now are we going to have to do the breathing game is the question. Hold our breath, maybe. I don't know. We can go upstairs. Do we go upstairs into that weird room? Block the door or use trap door? Uh, block the door. Don't know if that's really going to work. Nope. It didn't work. Use bear spray again. And then use trap door. And down. 
Oh, he's flattened it. Nice. Okay, hold A down. Up we go. Nice. We made it. He's coming after us, though. Quick. Okay, good. Toolbox down. We're trapped, but we're safe for now. Okay, we're back at the lodge with Dylan. And the wheelbarrow. Easy. <laughs> Nick's in the wheelbarrow. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Ooh. We got a tarot, nice. That's cool. So it just appears in the cutscene sometimes, the tarot card. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. This is nice. We can settle down now. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Uh, so we can be optimistic, I hope they're gonna be okay, or cautious. Do you think it has their sense? I'll be cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. <laughs> he thinks he's really dumb I just now. Feel like if we stick with them, I felt that was the logical that, conclusion so. to make. You know, I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't be yeah, so you're, sure you're about that. Right. I think it Come could on. quite easily Don't get in. Back up. Just break through a window or something, you know. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session. What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Oh no, the whisper. Is that the hag of Hackett's quarry? Whispering in our ears, whispering sweet nothings. I I I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Hmm. Hopeful, that's good news. Paranoid, you don't know that. I'll be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Ambulance, maybe? Police? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? I'll get an ambulance first. <sighs> um. I wouldn't call the cops. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. If we call the police, that weird guy's gonna show up, that cop. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't call the police, because that weird sheriff's gonna show up. Oh no, we've been cut off already. Dead. That's weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to 
call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. I, that guy makes no sense. He's a very strange man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right. I yeah. wouldn't even know where to start let's, with let's old broadcast equipment. Can contact somebody. Put that if I found an old on. radio, I just wouldn't know, you know, what to do with it. Tune it into the frequencies. Like, what am I going to do with that? Let's be calm. Only temporary. I will put it back when... We're good and safe, and help is on the way. It's better to have a shotgun, uh, isn't it? Okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. I love how Ryan's saying careful with it, like he's some gun expert or something. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Me? This is not good. It's the bears. This is not bears. good at all, guys. Why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? It's not gonna be a bear, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> we all know it's Thank not you. a bear at this point. Just get your shotgun, get your ammunition, load up, Kaylin, get ready to go. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. I can get him down, get him ready. Oh my God. What is he yeah, doing spinning around like that? Yeah, I would definitely give the gun to Caitlyn over Dylan. She's actually a good shot. Uh, does she need it? Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. I think we should give her the gun. She knows how to use it and, you know, I'm just gonna give the gun. It might, something might show up, you know, at the right. lodge, so. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. There you go. That's something, right? Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> I think that's one of the weirdest things I've heard somebody say in a game before. Ryan appreciates your decision, there we are. Am I interrupting something? You're about to get yourself a gun, Caitlin. That was weird. There's a very uncomfortably long silence. Man, don't trust Dylan Shut with up, it. Guy. it. I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? Exactly. I trust you. You'd be useless with that gun, man. We're much better giving it to Ryan. Oh, He's shown so he can much, use Dylan. it. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. He's proven himself already. Okay, we're back with Emma on the island, trapped in the attic. Things are ramping up. Real slowly, real quickly. Um, I'm going to reel it slowly. Keep it quiet. Come on, nice and slowly. Nice and quiet. Let's do it. Come on. Keep going, Mo. Don't stop. That's it. Gently, 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 gently. I'm not going to speed up. We're going to leave it. 
That thing relies on sound a lot of the time. Oh no, it's showing up. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, I should have done it faster maybe then. Because he's already found us. Oh! No, we made it. We actually played for... I think we did it right, guys. I think if we'd done it faster, it would have alerted him before. So there we go. That was the right move. We're making all the right moves this uh, episode. We escaped. Nice. We saved Emma. We kind of saved Nick. <laughs> I think he's still alive. Saved Jacob. A lot of lives saved in this episode. Taze is dead though. Don't know what that thing is. It's like a, almost like a werewolf, but not. That's got to be the end of the chapter too, I reckon. Yep, we're back with the mystic in the huts. Oh, good to see you. We good found another card you. for her as well. <sighs> that time again, is it? Strength. Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a... Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose... There are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Yeah, I want to see the future. Let's see more. This is going to give us a good tip of what to do in the next episode, guys. Okay, so something lunges at us. Oh, we grab his wound by the look of it. Okay, good. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Strange woman in the woods. And that will be it for this episode, guys. Okay guys, well that was episode 3 of The Quarry. So far this is going really well, we've kept everybody alive even though Nick has been injured and he seems to be a bit infected there. Uh, but yeah, everybody's still alive in the story. This episode was really intense, we had loads of action, loads of horror, and made some good decisions I think overall. So yeah, tune in tomorrow or maybe the next day for the next episode, which will be episode 4. And I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. If you have, remember to leave a like comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.